my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, another New Year's Eve look. If you haven't seen my latest beginner's New Year's Eve look, please check that out because it's super simple and easy and perfect for beginners with hooded eyes, of course. I will link that around down. I'll link it somewhere. So if you want something super simple and easy, go and check that out. Today I decided to do a super vampy look because I feel like New Year's is all about glam and glamour and those amazing smoky eyes. So I couldn't really do New Year's without doing one of these looks. I was super inspired by this nice amazing blue shadow called Rex from Colourpop. I've wanted to use it for ages but I just thought that I needed to go all out if I was going to use it. So I basically focused the eye look on that nice blue shimmer today. Really smoked it out and really glam lashes and nude lips because nude lips are perfect for New Year's, especially if you're partying all night long. You know how I feel about nude lips and long lasting nude lips are perfect and you don't really want to have bold massive lips and bold massive eyes as well. This look of course is for hooded eyes 100 million billion million percent. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You guys know I appreciate it. I have my 10k giveaway coming up really soon. I just want to go out and get the products and stuff like that first. So I've got to go and do that. And also please ignore this terrible situation going on right now. Like, it's just a bit much today. Like this video if you like it. And let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below. Of course, so if you would like to see how I get to this look, Please keep watching. As I have already done my eyebrows, I'm going to create an eye base using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in medium. And I'm going to blend that in with this BH Cosmetic Sponge. Then I'm setting my eyes using MAC Medium Dark with the small contour brush of course. Then onto my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and my favourite Caramel Brown Transition Shade. I'm blending this into my crease and into up into the brow bone as usual using the Coastal Sense Crease Brush. This brush really applies a lot of product which is great at building up a lot of colour and blending. Then I'm applying this shimmery white shade just with this small pointed brush to my brow bone. Then I'm using Maybelline Big Eyes Liner in black over my eyelid to create a strong base for the shadow that I'm going to apply. Then I'm going to be using this Morphe bright blue shade called I Got The Blues and I'm just going to be applying it into the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye using the Morphe G13. It does not need to be perfect. Then I'm using the main colour being the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Rex. It is an amazing dark blue and has flecks of purple throughout which is a really cool. You could use any blue gl glittery eyeshadow and I'm just using my finger of course to pat it over my entire eyelid blending it up into the crease. Then I'm using this crease brush to really blend it out as well. This shadow only really works with your finger though. I feel like you can't apply it with a brush. Then I'm just blending that blue shade in with the Morphe G13 just to diffuse it a little bit more. And then I'm going to be using the same caramel brown shade to blend into the crease and really soften up those lines. Then I'm going to smoke it out a little using the Steela Cell Palette and the black. And I'm applying using the Bullet Crease Brush into the outer corner and into my crease. Then I'm going to be blending that all in again using the Morphe G13. I just really want to smoke this look up a lot. Then I'm applying the mascara to my lashes before I apply my falsies. And while my mascara dries, I'm applying my Rimmel Lasting Primer. And today I'm applying the Coco Queen B Lashes, my first time using them and I had to trim them a lot. Then to cover the lash line, I'm using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner as you can see here. Then I'm applying the Makeup Forever HD foundation as I want to be looking long lasting and this foundation is really flawless and specifically for photos which you do get a lot of for New Year's generally. Then after I've blended that all in to highlight under my eyes I'm using MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost and blending it in using a damp blending sponge of course and then I'm also going in with the Morphe Chubby Buffer for under my eyes just because it is more precise and much easier to blend in than the sponges. Then to conceal, I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in light, applying it with my fingers and then blending it in more with a sponge. This concealer is super blendable and great for not creasing when you're going for a night out. To contour, I'm using the Tarte Sculptor Stick to frame my face. So first applying it to my forehead, then contouring my cheekbones and nose as you can see here. And then I'm going to be blending it in with a damp sponge. This product is great for a dewy natural contour and goes on 
and blends so easily. It's so creamy and amazing. First to highlight, I'm using the Benefit What's Up and patting it on my cheekbones, as you can see, using my finger up into my temple. I really want to get that great glow going. I mean, it is New Year's. Far under our highlight, I'm using my baking powder, Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and this flat sponge. Then I'm setting the rest of my face using MAC Medium Dark while I bake. Then I'm seriously contouring using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the main contour shape, which I always use. And just a small contour brush just on my cheekbones to really chisel them. Then I'm also using the bronze shade from the palette to bronze up my forehead and cheeks a little bit more. I really want to have a really bronzed glowing look. Then for lips, I am using some newbies, which is including Strip Down Lip Liner by MAC to line my lips and fill them in a little bit more. It's a great brownie nude shade. I love this. And then for lipstick, I'm just applying this to the inner part of my lips because it's quite light and I want to create that light ombre look. And this is MAC Honey Love. Then I am going to wipe off the excess powder using Face of Australia Loose Powder in Creamy Beige and the Small Contour, the Small Concealer Brush. <laughs> and then I'm going to be applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Shade underneath. Then just wiping it away using MAC Medium Dark. I'm lining my lower lash line from the outer corner to the center using the same black shade that I used before and then of course using the blue shimmer for the rest of the liner. Then I'm just lining my lower waterline with the same black shadow. Then for highlight I'm using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It is amazing and I really want that glow. Then to set all the powders and really get that natural look I'm using MAC Fix Plus. And here you have it, this is the finished look of the day. Of course, you would have seen it at the start. I hope it wasn't too hard for you guys. I thought it was quite easy, really. But I mean, smoky eyes do take time because you need to get that look perfect. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it really helps me out. Comment down below if you like this video and if you're going to try it out for yourself for New Year's. I hope you guys really like this video. Let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below. Hope you all have a happy, happy, happy New Year and I will see you all in 2016. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!